In the past eight weeks, I've studied the top performers in every major industry. Football, basketball, rap music, Afro beats, politics, Hollywood, YouTube, religion, and tech. And there are five skills the Ronaldos, LeBrons, Mr. Beasts, Jay-Zs, Burner Boys all have in common. To become the 0.01% of people in the world, I believe you must possess these five skills. And it doesn't matter what you do or the stage of life you are currently in, anyone can use these skills. This is exactly how Jimmy Donaldson became Mr. Beast. The first skill you have to master is waking up early. Calm down, I know what you're saying. How can waking up early get me ahead of 99.99% of people? Before you jump to conclusions, I need you to answer two questions. The first is, what is the difference between you and a billionaire? There's a lot to be honest. He or she probably has an expensive house, maybe a mansion, and they also have an expensive lifestyle. Private jets, million dollar watches, secret parties where everyone wears white. They also probably own two Ferraris. Okay, you get the point. Now, what is the one thing you have in common with that same billionaire? You both have 24 hours in a day. No one has more or less. And the reason they're a billionaire and you're not is because they spend their time differently. Best-selling author Stephen Covey said, it's not about how you spend your time but how you invest it. The same two hours you spend watching that Netflix series is the same two hours that billionaire spends managing his team or company. So tell me whose time is worth more. You're spending about 2,500 naira every month or about $14 every month and making $0 back. And they're spending $300,000 to manage their company and make $3 million monthly in the same two hours. This is why you have to steal back your time and how do you do that by waking up early let's say you wake up by 8 a.m and walk till 12 p.m that's four hours of work now let's say you wake up by 5 a.m and walk till 12 p.m that's seven hours of work it's also scientifically proven that your brain is sharper in the early hours of the morning so you can get a whole lot more done by just waking up earlier this is just the first skill you need to master but it's useless if you don't master this second skill and that is dnd or do not disturb how many times have you experienced this you wake up early ready to walk you know you're in the zone you sit down open your laptop or if you have a corporate job you head down to the office okay it's time to make some money then all of a sudden the phone rings it's a text from your partner you handle that and about to drop your phone then you hear the ring again now it's a post on instagram before you know it you spend two hours pressing your phone and you haven't even gotten anything done social media is great don't get me wrong but if it's not helping you make money then it's a distraction a big one instagram youtube tiktok x are all fighting for your attention because they know the more time you spend on their platforms the more money they make the question is why aren't you spending time on yourself the more time you spend investing in your skills the higher your chances of increasing your income that is not possible if you are being distracted consistently okay caller i hear you but how do i fix it easy just put your phone on dnd if you're using an iphone i don't know how it works on an android for the older generation that means do not disturb if you're using an android it should have a similar function this will prevent all notifications from coming in while you're working and if this still doesn't work for you leave your phone in the locker in a room totally different from the room where you're working once you master dnd you realize this third skill is easy to learn and that is doing more you know the phrase less is more right yeah that's complete bs less is less and more is more and if you want to get ahead of people you have to do more this is the secret to ronaldo's and the late kobe bryant's success ronaldo didn't start out as a six foot two hunk of pure muscle he had the dream of becoming the best footballer in the world only one problem he was a skinny kid from lisbon with no football skills it would take a miracle or a whole lot more work for him to achieve that luckily for him he had the work rate he was notorious for getting to training earlier than everyone else training harder than everyone else and staying behind longer after everyone else had left to do what? More training. Ronaldo is the embodiment of doing more. He is one of the greatest football players in the world after Messi and his achievements speak for themselves. If you want to get ahead of people, you have to be willing to do more work than they are willing to do. It's that simple. This is how you can live a life they can never dream of living. The question is, what do you need to do more of? At this point, you're already ahead of 80% of people. If you stop watching this video right now and do everything I've said, you're already a winner. But this skill will ensure you get more done in less time. You have to set deadlines. Deadlines work because of pocket law which states work expands to fill the time allotted for its completion this means that if you set two hours to complete a task you'll probably finish it in an hour and 45 minutes if you set 30 minutes to finish the task you'll find a way to finish it in 28 minutes i've experienced this personally back in school i wasn't the most serious student and i only read one or two days before the exam so usually i had 48 hours to cover a whole semester's work because of that i didn't spend too much time trying to read everything rather i focus on the most important topics deadlines force you to focus on the most important things now if you want to get ahead of 99.99% of people, the question is, what things should you focus on? That is why this final skill is the most important. Leverage. Leverage simply means what you put in versus what you get out. Just like that movie, head out. <laughs> okay, back to the video. For example, let's say you spend five hours preparing for a test and get a C. Your friend, Albert, spends just two hours preparing for the same test 
I get an A, an A plus. Who has more leverage? Albert, because what he put in was less, but what he got at was more. So how can you become more like Albert? I like to call them the four C's. I got this from Alex Omozi. The first is collaboration. This basically means working with a team. LeBron is one of the greatest basketballers in the world, but without a team, there's no way he would have won all the trophies he has. Life is a team sport. Even the best performers need a team to win. So ask yourself, who can I hire to help me get ahead? The next C is capital. This means making your money work for you, aka investing. I'm not an expert on this, so I recommend doing your own research on how to invest properly. Just know that the right investment can change your life. But if you'd rather invest time, then the next C is perfect for you, content. Content is every form of media produced online, from blog posts and tweets to TikToks and YouTube videos. I personally love content because it gives everyone a voice. Imagine you're a pastor trying to preach the gospel. So you take your Bible and go door to door like a salesman. Well, first, no one is going to pay attention because they were busy before you came knocking. It's low leverage. You put a lot of work in, but you get very little out of it. Now, imagine you had a building where everyone gathered to hear you preach every Sunday. And voila, that's what a church is. A church, just like content, is mass communication, way more effective right? So what the church is to a pastor is what content is to a business. You are literally reaching the masses. The last of the four C's also has mass appeal and it's called code. Code refers to creating applications that help people in their everyday life. Facebook, connecting with friends. Uber, get a taxi from your phone. Netflix, why go to the cinema? Watch the best movies and series from your phone. Amazon, order anything online. Okay, you get the point. If you can create an app or software that solves a problem for a whole lot of people, you'll become very rich very quickly. Now, I can't help you build a million dollar app but my team and I can help you build your business online, specifically YouTube. If you're a business owner, coach, or entrepreneur with a course or consulting service trying to build your YouTube channel from scratch, my name is Kola. I'm the founder of KA Digital, and we can help you grow your business with high value content so you can save 90% time, effort, and build your empire online. If you're interested in that, click the first link in the description. Peace. See you later.